everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Crown. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I'm back with another fun card and this is part of this year's Creative Card Series 2019. And this one I'm calling a Ferris wheel card. So this piece here just moves around. And you can decorate it however you want. I just wanted, I don't know, this is just, just what I wanted to do. I wanted to just cover it in flowers and I think it's turned out really nice. And I've got that sentiment in the middle which has been heat embossed with some silver embossing powder. And it says you're a whole lot of lovely. And then it stands up with its stand, like so. And then you lift that up and it opens just like a normal card and you can write your message in here. So I do need to stamp something there, but it's a double-sided paper, but it's all the same. So even from this side here, it looks nice as well. But I just think it's really fun. You don't have to have it moving like that if you don't want to. Once you see how I make it, you don't, you know, there are ways that you can still change this. So don't worry if you don't have the acetate or window sheet because you don't need it. But I do think that does give the element of it kind of all floating like that. And I think it looks really nice. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so the papers I'm using are from the Forever and Always Paper Addicts. 12 by 12 paper pack. This was another one of my favourites when I shared the six that they've recently released and it's just beautiful. So I will show you the ones that I'm going to use today. It's mainly the flowers here that I fussy cut because they're so easy to fussy cut and then I'm doing the hearts. So that's, yeah, that's the paper pack and as always I'll link everything in the description box below. What you're going to need, I've got this stamp set that I use for my sentiment which is the Always by the Woodware Clear Magic Singles and I've just done for this one it's Always and then you can choose your subtitle so I've got Remember I'm Here and um, I've already gone ahead and stamped that and then I just fussy cut it again with silver embossing powder so that's all done. I've also gone ahead and fussy cut all of the hearts because again you don't want to see me doing these and I want to keep my videos quite short so they are the hearts really again straightforward nice and easy to fussy cut. Then I've got my stand, I've got some few flowers left over from that card which I'm going to use and then my circles. So this time I'm going to use paper. So again, just want to show you that you don't need to use acetate. Now I cut these so they're a five and a half inch diameter circle so that I know lots of you have this and you see, it, see me use it a lot. So I've just set my dial to five and, what is it? Yeah, five and a half because there's five, yeah, five and a half. Okay, which is just under 14 centimetres in diameter. So if you've got the X cut circle cutter, then great. And I will link that again in the video description box below. It's really handy. Otherwise, just use a side plate. You could maybe use, you know, obviously if you've got a bigger roll, but some kind of like tape that you might have in your craft room. Yeah, I'm sure you will find something. You want it kind of like that. You do have to make an envelope for this anyway. So if you end up going a bit bigger, it's not the end of the world. But you do want two pieces if it's double sided because, well, I say that if it's a nice print on the back, then it doesn't really matter. But because this is a, well, it's got forever and always, but it just didn't look so great. I've done two because I'm going to stick them together. So that'll be the back side and obviously the front there. So I've got quite plain, but once I add the hearts and everything, you know, it's going to all come together. So for the base, you want a piece that's eight by four. Okay, I've got my mini scoreboard out here, but along the eight inch side, you just want to score at four inches. Okay, again, if you want to make it bigger, you can once you see how to make it, it's very straightforward. So just fold and burnish that piece, and then along the four inch side, pop it back in while it's folded. Just put a pencil mark at uh, one and a quarter and two and three quarters. You don't need to put one in the center but that's just where I worked out and then I done three quarters from the center on both sides. But yeah, it's one and a quarter and two and three quarters. Okay, and that's along the folded part there. Then I'm just gonna use my trimmer and from those two pencil marks that you've done, ignore my middle one, I'm gonna line the pencil mark up with the blade here and then the point with the blade at the bottom. And we're gonna create that kind of tent shape. So that's one piece and then this time I'm going to line up the bottom corner there and then that pencil mark. Just make sure you get nice points. Okay, and then I can just grab my rubber and get rid of that. Okay, and then just burnish, make sure it's all nice. And now you've got your stand. Okay, so you've got, like I said, you've got enough room to write in that, but if you do want to go bigger, you can do. So with this piece here, what you want to do now, I'm going to keep both of mine together just so it's easier to work with. You just want to mark the center. So I'm just going to grab my ruler. I know it's five and a half, so I'm just going to, there we go. So I just want to pop a hole at two and three quarters. 
just using my pokey tool there. Okay, get that done now because now you know and you can see your centre point and then it's easy to kind of, you know, add your pattern and everything. So if you are using double, if you're using two like me, then I would say stick them down now because again, it's just a bit easier. I mean, depending on how you're decorating it, if you are using two pieces like me, you may want to kind of sandwich stuff in between these two. You might have some maybe flowers and some foliage and bits like that. You could have them coming out from, you know, inside these two pieces. So, yeah. Again, once you see how easy this is to put it together, you can change it up. Okay, my hole's slightly off there, but that I'll re, re pierce it in a minute. So now it's all down to you how you want to decorate it. But what I would say, actually, I want to get that on now. So I am just going to re pierce through that. And then you want to line up the back so it comes up just above the hole there. Okay, so once you can see, you want to come down about. I don't know, half, a, half an inch once again, just watch me do it first and then you'll be able to see. You want to make sure that you've got this all nice and you don't want this running along the bottom and then you just want to open it up and I'm still holding it all in place because you don't want to pierce through both pieces, you only want to pierce through the top one. Again, push that through and then pop your brad through, split that or your split pin and then just build it on the back. Now if you want to add something over that you could pop something that matches. You don't want to stick it too much, you just want to maybe just stick it to the metal because you want it to be able to move around. Okay, so there it is. Now again, if you've got someone who is into archery, if you've got someone who likes to listen to vinyl or CDs, this is a great card for that because it's that shape. So you can, again, this can, you know, you can do all sorts with this. Okay, so now I'm going to start. My idea is to have these all stuck, slightly overlapping, just because of the size. I wanted to get as many in as possible. But they are all going to be like this. And whatever ones you have here, you need to make sure that obviously it's not going to catch. So it needs to come in enough. So as you're moving it around, but if I go around, I want to make sure that all of them are going to clear this white piece. So whatever you stick down, move it around as you go around. The last thing you want to do is stick it all down and then find that something is coming down too far. Like there, see those two? That's just too much, so I need to bring them up a bit. And again, you just want them all kind of the same. So I'm going to use this bit here, the, where the hearts go in, I don't want to see I can just have them just kind of hovering on the outer part of that circle. As soon as I can see it, then that's they can come right up to that. And they should now, yeah, clear the bottom. Okay, I think it looks really cool. And then this is going to go kind of there. It's going to go and sit just on it. And I'm going to have foam adhesive either side so it's lifted to the same level as that brad or split pin. And then all of these pieces are going to be nestled around it and that's it. So it's, it is really, really quick. It's down to the decoration. So that's where all the time comes into things. The, the card itself is really straightforward and fast to do. So I'm going to get this all stuck down because I'm pretty happy with the positioning of them. And I'll put this all on high speed and you can just see me quickly put it together. And there you have it, a really, really pretty card. I absolutely love this. It moves so freely. So all of that is on foam. So I haven't put anything sticking this piece with the brad underneath. The foam is on this side and this side. So it allows that brad to move freely. You can see there, okay? Or the card even. It just You don't want to stick anything to it really. Just keep those free. But um, yeah, I hope you like it because I do. I think it's really nice and it's something that you can... Like I said, it can work really well with more masculine style cards and with hobbies, you know, the CDs, the records, the driving wheel, or steering wheel, that's the word. 
you know what I mean. <laughs> and I'll just bring in the one with the acetate there as well. I don't know which one's my favourite, I like them both, but um, I'd like to know what you think, so pop your um, thoughts in the video description box, let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed today, as always, please give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye!